Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Shake coming at you real quick, hopefully, with a haul video. This is gonna, this is probably gonna be my last haul video for 2010, seeing it is December 17th today. It's probably not gonna upload today because I still have like a haul to post before this, like from a couple weeks ago. But I just wanted to wish everyone a Merry Christmas if it's not supposed to be for Christmas. And I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas when I post this up after. And I hope everyone has a safe and happy New Year. Whenever I post this, hopefully everyone is being safe and having fun this New Year's this holiday season. So I just wanted to come with you real quick to show you the things I picked up like this last weekend in a bit. I'm really, really trying to branch out of Mac products. Don't get me wrong, I love Mac. Whenever they send me an email, I buy Mac almost. Every time they send me an email, I buy Mac. But I want to experience other makeup brands. Like I have an Urban Decay palette and the Zero and whatever whiskey and the flip side eyeliner that came with it. But I got great news. I got my first NARS items today. I bought four. I'll be showing you in this video. And let's see, I'll start off with the drugstore. At Walmart, they were having the Voluminous Original Bold Volume Mascara. It's the one with the curved brush. And it's in black. Thought I'd try this because everyone's always talking about it. I don't know if I was supposed to get the other one. But this was regularly like eight, nine dollars, and it was on sale for like five, six. So I picked it up to try it out. Haven't opened it yet because I'm gonna finish my other ones, other mascaras first. Then I can do a I hit pan video on. Hopefully, sometime by February. But I got this to try that out. Then I picked up two of the L'Oreal color juices. These were on sale at Shoppers Drug Mart, it's like a drugstore in Canada. And at Shoppers Drug, they're high. Their prices are more expensive than at a Walmart and whatnot. And these were on sale for like, well, they were on clearance for like three fifty, four dollars. I can't remember what. But even in regular stores like Walmart, it's like seven to eight bucks. So I got two. The first one I got was Tutti Fruity number six, ten. So really like pinky core color. It's really pretty. I haven't worn any of these yet because I was trying to save them so I wouldn't lose them for the haul video. And the other one is Strawberry Smoothie. It's almost like a, a nudish color with shimmer. It's pretty as well. And then I picked up a Maybelline Natural Smokes Quad. It's like the style she smokes one. And I guess it's called Natural Smokes 02. I picked this up because at my Walmart they're like seven dollars. Like that's not expensive or anything. But at Shoppers when they're having like a clear out on this whole row, and it was like three fifty, so I got it. So I'm like, why not? And this was like the only color left that I liked. So I already picked up the other one from the other haul video that probably isn't up yet when I'm recording this. But you know how it is. Oops. And I picked up two Maybelline blushes. They're the Expert Wear Blush. The first one is in very Shorebird number 60. It's almost like a pink key plum mauve color. It's really pretty. And I like blush. So I wanted to get some new ones. And then I got the other one in Dusty Mauve. It's almost like more like a neutral brown color. It's really pretty. I haven't opened this as well because I don't know. I haven't been wearing any blush. Well, kind of, that's a lie. But yeah. And then Sephora was having one of those VIB promotions when they send you the email. And it was like, if you, you could only use the coupon in store. And if you spent $40 or more, you got $15 off. And I was kind of sad I couldn't use it online because I saw the Urban Decay like eye pencil set online but the last time I was in the store they didn't have it yet but I went to go to the store you know to see if I could find something to buy and try out seeing 
I don't really buy things from Sephora, if you haven't noticed in all my videos. It's either Drugstore or Mac. But, I got the liner set I wanted. It's the Urban Decay 24-7 Jackpot. And, it's, it was like $40, I think, 47 I only paid like $32 and plus taxes, so like $34. And it comes with 2, 4, 6, 8. Ten eyeliners, a full size of zero, which I really, really like. I had a travel size from the Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland palette, and honestly, I couldn't find it for like the last three months, and I found it yesterday in my TNA bag. So excited. Can't wait to use it. And it comes with the colors El Dorado, which is a gold color, Whiskey, which is a brown, Stash, which looks like a grayish color. I haven't taken them out of the box yet. There's Mildew, which is a green, Electric, which is like a bright blue. Then there's Ransom, which is a really nice purple, a Binge, which is like a nice navy blue, Rockstar, which is like a maroon color ish, maybe, and Gunmetal, which is silver. So those are, that's a really great deal. It's a great Christmas gift as well for someone. Because for us, like the pencil is like $23, $24, something like that. And that's a lot of money for eyeliner. Like I can handle doing it for like Mac because I always get the emails and they get free shipping so I don't have to really go to the store. But the order online for Sephora has been $120. Plus duties, which is like another 10 Kind of sucks for free shipping. And then for Mac, my beloved Mac, I wasn't really feeling that holiday collection at all, at all. But then I got a gift card, like a, one of those Visa gift cards, and I couldn't find anything on Sephora to order. And I had kind of wanted this item when I had first seen it, but it wasn't really up there where I wanted to get. But it's the eyeshadow palette, I guess in Beauty's Play It Cool shadows and it's this one it's like the purple one it's like a, this, I can't, hold on, let me like turn this upside so I can read the names to you without blinding you so I believe this is the silverware the next is the hold my gaze then to the ball, then altered state, magic more, and Heather Bells. The first two were a frost finish. The third one was a satin. The f then the bottom row was two velux and a satin finish. Like they're okay colors. Like I didn't honestly. I just wanted to buy something to use that gift card because I had hundred and fifty dollars on it. And when I tried to order from Sephora, nothing I wanted to order to me could get shipped to me. So I wanted to get the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. Yeah, Shimmer Brick in the coral one. But the Bobbi Brown stuff doesn't ship to me. And I went to go see if they had it at my Bobbi Brown stand at my mall downtown in the Halt Renfrew. It's like a high end department store. It's like Chanel, Tiffany, and Co. All that in that one store. I love it. I haven't shopped there yet. Because that's like ridiculous kind of pricing for me, but I still love the store. It's so pretty to look at. And they didn't have it. So I end up getting this. So it's really pretty colors. Like it has a nice purple and some silvers. Like I kind of got it more for like the silver colors because I really wanted the silver color. It came with a little sponge applicator. But I just dropped it somewhere down here, and I'm not really going to go look for it in this video. I'll find it after. But that is that one. Oh, and the little outside is like a velvety, like, velour kind of feel. It feels nice to touch. It's a nice compact. It's pretty. It's not too heavy. So you could carry it in your purse if you're going out one night, or you're going to work and you wanted to get it done. Like, do your makeup after work for it to go out. So it's nice. I'm like rambling in this video. That's usually hard for me to do. But then, oh my gosh, from Mac, I was able to order randomly, by chance, the Pink Friday lipstick. 
It looks like this. It's a pretty color. It's really like a real Barbie pink in my opinion. It's like that matte, like matte finish. Oh, it's like really bad lighting. It's like a matte finish, and it's a satin. But it almost looks like you like put crayon on. It's like it's really pretty. Don't get me wrong. I haven't worn this yet, and it smells like the rest of the lipsticks. I guess nothing too serious. So I got that by chance because I had went out that night and I was like, oh no, I didn't go home to order it. And I'm like, I won't be able to order it, but I had already had it in my inbox, like in my cart from like that morning before I went to work. So I was like, okay, when I get home, I'll order it. And I got home and I was still able to order it, even though it was like 2 a.m. on Saturday morning. So I was like, cha-ching, and I got it. And along with that, I picked up the Wildly Refined Lip Glass from the Fabulous Feline Collection back in September because last weekend, or the weekend before that, I had gone out and I lost mine and I really, 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 really like how it goes with the Drive Me Crazy or Drive Me Wild lipstick that came out with that collection. It's like the corresponding color. It's like a nice dirty coral color. It's really pretty. I like it. It's like one of my favorites right now. So I had to get it back before like, I can, couldn't get it again because I don't have a CCO in Canada, guys. Which really sucks because I spent all my time there, really and truly. And then, on the MAC website, online, it's not even like in the goodbye section, it's just in the face part, or under the mineralized section, whatever, you, whichever one you look under. But they had the mineralized skin finish trio in smooth merge and triple fusion or something like that. So I got the smooth merge because I thought that would work better for me and Clay wanted it. You probably don't really need it or anything, but it's really pretty. It's like a pink champagne-ish color. Like a burgundy rose color. And like a brown bronzy color. It's really pretty. I haven't worn it yet. I'll swatch that for you. So that's what it looks like. I think the bronzy champagne color, this one, on top, would make a pretty good highlight for me, even the pink shimmery one, and the middle one, sorry for figuring you guys, would make a nice all over blush, and if you like mix them together, it does make a nice combination, like you can't really tell, but it does give a nice, nice frosty shimmer, that's why I like it so far, I thought I'd have it, I don't know what collection this came out with. I didn't even look it up. Well, I did on Tentalia. But I didn't really look to know what it was. This video is at 13 minutes and I'm not even going to edit it. So, this is the part one. So I might just cut it off here. No. Yeah, part one. This is part one with the Mac and the Sephora and Drugstore. There will be a second part with the NARS. My brushes I ordered from Coastal Sand. Some stuff from Aldo and Walmart. Like clothing wise. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.